bad boy out. Let's give it a little bit of a start. She is a big one. Comfy, comfy, comfy. So, yep, how are you doing? Again, taking out another bike. This is the brand new 22, 2022 Tiger Rally Explorer. Now, I'm in the process of potentially looking at a different bike. And, uh, what we have here is something which I knew when the moment one came out it was going to throw a bloody spanner in the works and in all honesty it has god damn it why do we like motorcycles so much don't know much about the specs on this bike but I put a little sign cup here for you Yeah, the guys at Triumph West London. Yeah, a great group of people. Always looked after me. Highly recommend that shot. Yeah, that's a nice pickup there. Nice pickup indeed. Very nice so far. Comfy. Buffeting is, uh, is a bit surreal. Uh, it's a lovely hot day here in England today. We've got a weather warning in the next couple of days where the temperature is going to be in the silly highs. And um, so I'm out in my uh, in a t-shirt with a uh, protection underneath it. And I'm getting a weird buffeting around the chest. It's going up my face. This, the the uh, the the crash helmet area is actually not. I like to bounce in the corners. Very good, very easy, nice, flickable thing for being such a big bike. It's very, very smooth. So, uh, uh, a good, decent guy at Travis West London talked to me about the, uh, the, the, the dampening on the suspension. And it's all touched by uh, this lovely TFT screen here. And if you can see it here, obviously you've got normal, on the right here in the blue bar, normal, sport or comfort. So obviously it's, it's going to reduce it or in, obviously increase it to depend on the, on the dampening needs you need. So this bike I believe is around 19 something, uh, brand new. And you get so much for 19 grand. Let's have a little, uh, see what sport all the way up to sport does. Let's click it in and see if it does anything. So instantly the suspension and the 
dampening is just harder. There's not a much. Yeah, there's virtually no travel on that. Well, not no travel, but it's, it's exactly what it's designed for. Keeping those wheels firmly placed. So that was all the way up. Let's go all the way down, see what it does. Let's go down to comfort. Oh, instantly, front end dips up. Yeah. Let's see what the uh, low speed bike there yeah it's a comfort Jesus it's proper definitely does what it says on the tin let's see if we can change the mode on the fly so this is road mode at the moment let's put it in sport mode close throttle mentioned before in previous videos and stuff this is the uh, the first ride first impressions test ride this is uh, not a review this bike is uh, it's causing me a lot of grief to be honest because it's um, it's, it's great but what you get and the price you pay for it brand new it all depends on what you want and what you're going for See the Africa Twin, the BMW GS 1250, the GS 2L50. Uh, is, is, I suppose it's always been at the top of the list for everyone when it comes to the adventure tourer bike. Um, Harley Davidson obviously came out with the, uh, the Pan America to try to appeal to that market, and that Pan America is um, interesting. It's just the technology 
because you want to try and put in some motorcycles at the moment. I just um, class class leading. So that was pretty interesting. So, uh, low revs, these, I don't have this clutch. I'm not getting on well this gearbox. Yeah, I think it's a quick uh, quick shifter. So, but I'm a clutch man. i am always been a, down to the clutch. But this gear, uh, I don't know. Just feels like it's just not. So the balance and everything very nice at low low RPM, but this clutch, as you can see, I, uh, I just stalled it. Where, um, well, maybe the video could show a bit more. But it just seems that that, that band where you kind of need to have real light control of the clutch, it just feels a bit too refined, like you were, uh, like the idea was it to be, um, used for it around that type of, uh, RPM, but then they, like, drained it, rained it back because the, uh, the Explorer, I don't know, between this, the Explorer Pro, maybe the, the, the Pro, the Rally Pro, or, um, the Rally Explorer, Rally Pro, might be more focused towards that because as I say this feels like you're not going to be wanting to go around that one you know that 1500 rpm marker and play around with that air it's capable but it does feel like there is it's more geared up for distance motorways and definitely the GS type of feel. you know it's Interesting, that's what I can say, interesting. transition never really had a, a problem with any other bike I've ridden or you know anything of that type of method this does not like that so you might see it from the video where I have a blip of throttle like that with the gear change down it's um it's not me trying to show my masculinity it is genuinely I like to keep the revs up I've had a few moments before, like earlier, where it's stalled because I've not kept the revs at a certain... If you can't cruise at a nice, steady, low speed without the chance of the bike stalling, it's... Uh, the cause of concern... in my lovely local spot it's gonna have some chumps in it ah. 
clear. <coughs> yes. What can I say? Very clean, very nice to ride this bike. Just a few personal issues with the uh, the clutch, which I just, it's mainly down to my riding to be honest. But look at it, even the butterflies love it. See a little butterfly there? Hello butterfly, do you like it? Yeah. <sighs> Stunning, stunning. Right. So what can I say, this bike is damn good. I think I said it before many times, but I love all motorcycles and to be honest, coming from my Scrambler, this would be a, a happy compromise if I had one bike and I was using it daily. The Africa Twin, the BMW GS, and it, I'm gonna throw in the Harley Davidson Pan America there because uh, I've ridden it. So, uh, but this at 19, probably close to probably 20, is a, a lot of money, but it's, uh, you get a lot of bike. And if it comes with this setup, you're on for a winner. So, yeah, thank you very much for your ongoing support. Thanks for, uh, if you can, like it. If you've got something to say about it, comment it down below. And if you really feel like it, Give me a subscribe, that'll be perfect. Thank you very much for tuning in and uh, ride safe out there. Catch you next time. Bye bye.